The Pleistocene Museum was founded here in Blackwater, Louisiana, in 1879 by Armin Kevorkian. Mr. Kevorkian, given its comment, because of the large keep it's been its mouth, commonly known for browsing with a scope through the ice. Dude, keep a lookout. All right, hurry up, man. Keep your panties on. What's the hold up? You gotta see this. said these things all got wiped out by Pathagon. This section's <sighs> off limits, you know. For the record, it's not Pathagon. It's Pathogen. Germs. They can kill you. Or, well, even an entire species, for that matter, huh? Do you read that magazine, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a lifetime subscription. Is it yours? I like to pretend he is. Cool. Come on, we're gonna get in trouble. Gotta go. See you, mister. All right, we'll see you guys later.
Chess or checkers, Doc? I vote chess. Not tonight, Gordon. I got some homework here. Don't you ever sleep? I'll try to avoid it if I can. You know, so much history, so little time. What's the hurry, Doc? You late for a funeral? Jack's birthday! Projectionist log 060607. In an attempt to vanquish her disappointment over her father's empty headedness, we have decided to advance the maiden voyage of the Starship Theater. Give me all she's got, Captain. Right, I may die. <laughs> Squirly, get me my rum from below. Yes, sir. <laughs> he knew I needed him to get my license. It's two hours, 13 minutes, two missed phone calls. This is a new record. Not if you count the time that he forgot to pick you up after ballet camp last summer. Forgot that. Hmm. I'm sorry about this, honey. I'd help if I could. It's not your fault. My father's defective. <laughs> Give me credit. I got the ball rolling. Mom wouldn't let this happen. No, she was your dad's better half, and he's feeling like half a man without her. You Hi, Kavaka. Hang on to that. I've saved the day. by three, three. God, maybe they close it. Three. Keys. Where did I put my keys? I'm thinking the day the earth stood still. Hey, Grandpa. Yeah? Look. What's in this double hockey stick?
making you two? Yeah. Hey, not so much cream in my coffee. How's it going? He told you to go watch it. Well, Bud, why are you watching it then? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't have you contaminating a crime scene, Doc. Crime scene? Conducting a formal investigation into what happened here. Standard procedure, Frank. Well, Sheriff, a meteor hit the building. Well, judging by the amount of ash on the ground, it must have incinerated my mammoth on impact. <laughs> you mean like when you drop an ice cube into a cup of coffee and it goes kablooey? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, look, Sheriff, I, I really, I should probably do some tests first to confirm After my theory. After the investigation, Frank. Oh. Somebody stole it. 17-ton mammoth in a block of ice? Yeah. People pull hoaxes all the time with crop circles. Yeah, like that guy in Oregon with them big footprints. Ray Wallace. That's, That's the one. one. Okay, what are you smoking? And you, you, you make no sense whatsoever. I mean, it is like the blind leading the stupid here. Deputies, please escort the good doctor to his vehicle. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, okay, just... This is my museum. And this is my town. I'll expect your statement tomorrow morning. First thing. Okay, well, expect to see me then, okay? Take care. Thank Not you, Doc. Problem. I'll be back. where we can find Sheriff Marion Morrison. Depends. Who's asking? I'm Special Agent Powers. This is my partner, Special Agent Whitaker. We're here to assess the situation. And just what is your jurisdiction? Earth. You think she's just gonna... Shh, I'm trying to read their lips. Something about... How sexy looking that deputy is. <laughs> Wanting to give him a full inspection. Good, 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 which one's she talking to? Me? Not her, him. Not funny. <laughs> She's, She's hot. hot. You two got something going on I should know about? No, no sir. sir. Tell them nothing. Yes, sir. Sheriff. We're gonna need a record of everything leading up to the event. Nothing moves. Is that clear? No, you shut Clear as mud. Is there a problem, Sheriff? Okay. Are there any other witnesses? <laughs> One. The dead security guard. No. Frank Abernathy. 
I know I'm late, but uh, this meteor well, pretty much incinerated the last five years of my life. But hey, you know what? <laughs> Love about me. Happy birthday, honey. How was your day? Huh? Don't be such a Frank, Frank. Just tell her the truth. My car! The car broke down, and then my phone wouldn't work. Poor Gordon. <laughs> he came in and he said, do you want to play chess? You know what you sound like, Frank Abernathy? You sound like a dimwit. You sound like a bird brain. Bird brain. 16th birthday, driver's license, Frank Abernathy. You're bad. You messed up. It was a big day and you should have been there. It was a big day. Well, uh... So, what do you think? It's your car. Not anymore. Plateau belongs to you. <laughs> Well, birthday girl, what's the verdict? I can't take your car. Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday. Honey, I am so sorry. I, look, I, I know how important it was that, that, look, it's a really good excuse. Okay, so how big is that on the Jack Tamper scale? 11. So what should I do? Stop being a weenie. Don't say weenie. You want to try mommy's necklace, baby? Here. Yeah. It looks good on you. Can I have it? One day. What do you think, Daddy? Good idea. Spying on me again? I came to see if you were mobile yet. Cool. <laughs> Check it out. An evasion? Could be fun, but I don't know, squirrels. Got the wheels, but no license. Happily be your chauffeur. Come on, it's a pod party. Like, hang with me, we'll piss off your dad. It's a Friday night in Blackwater. What else is there to do? Besides, it's your birthday, and you do owe me for the hands. You're gonna get me in so much trouble. <laughs> Consider it a gift from the squirrels. Whoa!
Jack, can I come in? Okay. Uh, look, uh, Jack, I know today was, uh, it was a big day. A very important day. Cool. Never say I don't want a short lady a good time. You do better than that. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Broken. You're still here, aren't you? Please. Well, why don't why don't I come in there and Jack? Without talking to me? Talk to you? Frank, when is there ever time to talk to you? Nobody can talk to you because you're never here. You're all sticking your head up some elephant's ass. Oh, hey, what I do at the museum, the science might work. It is important. And your daughter isn't important? Go find my kid. I'll go with you. Alone. So did you, uh... Did you rewire the phone in one of the little projects again? Time to join the living, Frank. I want you to know that this, you know, little obsession of yours with, you know, flying saucers and, uh, you know, what is it, little green men? It has been nothing but an embarrassment to me my entire life. Embarrassment? Now, that qualifies as a genuine emotion. I'm glad to see you feeling sad. Damn it. What the hell did I do with my keys? I'll be out in the car. Don't avoid the issue. Dad, dad, dad. You just you don't get it, do you? Jack's my daughter. Mm. I wanted to be the one to give her a car. A hybrid. A hybrid? Well, now, that's forward thinking. Now, all we have to do is get the rest of you going in the same direction. And for the record, it's not a big deal, but it's doctor. Sorry about that, Doc. We'd like to talk to you about what happened this afternoon at the museum. You may have witnessed something unusual. Who are you people? Should we be contacting a liar? Did you do something illegal? Not today. This won't take up much of your time. Would either of you have a working phone I could use? Sorry. Satellite malfunction happens every now and then. What happened at the museum, Frank? No, no, Dad. Look, I, I'd be happy to talk with you if we just please do it while we drive. I have a, a runaway child. Dr. Abernethy, we work under orders directly from the White House. We don't handle domestic issues. Neither does the White House. Do either of you have kids? Let me enlighten you. Um, if you have a boy, you only have to worry about one... wiener. 
You have a girl, and you worry. Right. No, you do. You worry about every wiener in the hot dog okay. cart. Okay, Fine. would you trust a kid named Squiggly? Squirly. Thank you. He's a nice point kid. Is, okay. Dad, he, the... drop it, okay? I would be happy to finish this conversation in the car, or you can come back tomorrow. It's your choice. Yeah, let's go. Good. Uh, uh, unpaid uh, rest free over month free. Uh, of Wiedersehen. Um. What? He said, Frank, don't trust these government stooges in Pig Latin. Does he suffer from dementia? I wish. Try not to get her pregnant on the first date, son. Okay, see you later, Dad. Thanks for coming by. Hey, D, this dead guy looks just like Gordon. Maybe they're related, bud. No, no, not like that. He looks like he had his inside sucked out his nose or something. This looks like Tavin's cooking. Sure, so we see something peculiar out here tonight. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up. Hey, bud, check it out. Pretty elaborate for a hoax. Think we ought to keep these shotguns? Definitely. How long do you think this thing go for? How the hell would I know, bud? I don't know, man. Hey, D. What? You think there's any spiders out here? <laughs> You're afraid of spiders. So? So? Sure. <laughs> I thought you weren't afraid of anything. Bro. I'm not afraid of anything. I ain't not afraid of anything but spiders. Did you hear that? No. But I smell it. Oh, holy. Oh, hell! Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh, these are new shoes. Well, you're riding in the back, bud. <laughs> no way, you ride back there. I'm driving. I'm not riding in the back. Oh, there's no way you're driving with smoke smell. all over your shoes. This crap ain't spunk. Same difference. Hey, is that a spider in your head? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hear that? Hell, I felt that.
Can you tell us if the mammoth died before or after it was frozen? Oh, uh, well, the second one, it was, uh, you know, frozen alive and subsequently died as a result. Oh, oh, right, 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 right there, right, yeah. Dude, God, there were just so many more things that we could have learned from him. What type of behavior do they typically exhibit in the wild? We believe they acted very similar to modern-day elephants. Do they attack? Oh, sure. Yeah, but uh, mostly out of defense. Is there anything else we need to know? Well, they were herbivores. Herbivores. The H is silent. Herbivores. What is going on here? You didn't just show up on my doorstep to catch up on your Mammoth 101. He's the expert. Rule number one. OK, well, if we want him to help us, we're going to have to let him know what's going on. Rule number two. Repeat rule number one. Please feel free to fill in the gap here at any time. The meteor crossed over Fort Petrie Air Force Base just prior to striking your museum, Dr. Abernathy. Wait, uh, that, that's in Mississippi. Exactly. It was first tracked coming in from the northeast, but it hit the museum coming in from the south. You're not suggesting that the meteor had navigational capabilities, are you? A UFO? My dad is going to have a field day with this one. That's just weird. Somebody's hiding something. No TV either. Just like the farm. Somebody's been playing with the power grid. Yo! Chill. Everything's cool, guys. Everything's not cool.
Watch out! Either of you seen Night of the Living Dead? I don't like those movies. Yeah, neither do I, but it uh, looked a lot like this. Stop! Jack? What happened, sweetheart? Huh? Here you go. Here you go, right here. here you... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you take something? Huh? What the hell did you do to my daughter? I swear to God, if you gave her the weed, I will neuter you! Mr. Abernathy, you will not believe what Dad. this scene... Yeah, what is it? I'm right here. Talk to me. Hmm? Oh, God. Okay, let's back it up. Let's move it back. No sudden movements. Let's just remain calm. Okay, let's, there you go. Oh, God, look at you. Look at you. No, 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 no. You don't understand. You don't understand. This could be the scientific phenomenon of the millennium. Do, huh? Go back to the car. Oh, but that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. I think that's a real solid option, at least for me. It's very big. It's okay. Really... It's this way. Just break. Okay, okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry. Oh, my God. 
being so skittish. <sighs> Don't tell me you didn't feel that. That never stopped me before. Come on, before we have to get back to the hall. Good lord, woman. Shh, I think. I know you're not getting. I know you're not getting. Okay, you guys, get in the car. Frank, get the body. What? Hurry up, hurry up. Will you help me with this, please? I, I, I got. Let me do this, please. I. Let me do this. Frank! Come on. Okay, what? one, two, three. Oh, God, it's okay. Let's we'll stuff him at the morgue. There's a morgue, right? Oh, yeah, there's two. My father's very good friends with him. Push down on his feet. Oh, oh. No, that is, that is definitely not his feet. Just get out of the way. What about the head? Leave it. You sure? You drive. Okay. Okay. Really? Oh. Let's go. Rangers don't alter course. It came from outer space. Shut down everything but the lights. Somebody called home. All right, time to pay the bills. <clears throat> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let me see here. Bonita Terra, 6864. Another F. Why don't they just put the numbers where you can see them? Someone grab my antenna. Hockeys. Hockeys from outer space. Is this an invasion? Oh my God, it's an invasion. Overprotective. My father was too. Then I'm not protective enough. I'm sorry about your partner. You seem like a very nice guy. You saw it, right? The regeneration? I study the fossil record specifically. You know, that thing out there for the better part of five years. X-rays, CAT scans, radiocarbon dating, I can pretty much tell you what his last meal was. But none, at least to my knowledge, exhibited behavior of that kind. Yeah. It was feeding. If it needs sustenance, then we can kill it. Okay, well, good luck with that. I'm gonna get my dad and get the hell out of Dodge. Dr. Abernathy, you need to understand the situation we have here. Yeah, it seems pretty easy to understand. Big monster on loose, leave town as fast as possible. 
That is not an option. That's how much time we have left until the autumn protocol is initiated. When that clock hits zero, if we haven't found a way to contain or destroy that creature, then this town is gonna be blasted out of existence. Lady, you're scaring me. You should be scared. Why? Because the current administration views these types of threats as... Well, let's just say they don't sit well with the voters. You're kidding me, right? Do I look like I'm kidding? No. I'm the last line of defense, Brink. And I need your help. I'm no hero. Heroes aren't made, Frank. They're cornered. Okay. Okay. We're gonna kill this thing. We're gonna need some help. Son's keys in the car. What do you say to that, huh? Let's go to town. that meteorite routine investigation ma'am hey be careful with that okay. hey. oh. it's my partner okay what i miss not a word maybe we should tell him avoid jeez marion we're in over our heads on this if you two know something you better spill it now this place deep freeze popsicle anyone suit yourself what you taste is what you smell beets formaldehyde Dead is relative. Popcorn setting takes about a minute. That is fascinating. And creepy at the same time. I think it's trying to tell us something. What does it say? I've been trying to figure that out for 30 years. Um, no, I'm, I'm gonna wanna examine the hand. It can be pretty nasty. Thanks. How did you get this? Donation. <gasps> Hey! 
Hey. Oh. 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 That's handy. Here's the phone book. Seems to me like history is repeating itself. Whatever's inside this hand, it's the same thing inside the mammoth. Everything indicates freezing won't kill it. It just goes into suspended animation. You two should have reported this years ago. The government could have stepped in and found a solution. Sure. We tell them they come in and use a little term called eminent domain. Next thing you know, our town is Area 52 and we're left without a pot to piss in. Sorry, miss. How do you explain the zombie soul-sucking effect? Maybe it needs the organic energy from its prey to simply maintain its existence. Maybe it's a rescue mission. Rescue mission? Honey, you're a genius! I pulled this out of the mammoth this morning. Let me check that out. It's some kind of transmitter or GPS device. It's probably how the sphere found the museum. Do you mean to say that that's intergalactic OnStar? Yeah, well, basically. We're being seated. This is all way too War of the Worlds for me. I hope you're talking the 1953 original. I was actually thinking more along the lines of the remake. One could argue the body snatchers, but it's really even closer to the blob. The original, that is. This is great. My daughter's turning into my father. That ain't so bad, Frank. She could wind up more like you. OK. So say we can use the transmitter to lure the creature to us. How do we freeze a creature that stands 13 feet high and weighs 17, 18 tons? Maybe. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> Carbon dioxide! Puts out a fire because as the gas is released, it expands, cooling the surrounding air. Now, the, this cooling will often cause ice to form around the horn from where the gas is expelled from the extinguisher. Ice! Man, that's good. Yes! So where do we find a giant fire extinguisher? Oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't have to be carbon Other dioxide. chemicals have yes! the same effect yes! when Lord! released into the air, like anhydrous ammonia. Oh, no, 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 Floyd. That would be too toxic. You know, we need something more along the lines of uh, NO2. Liquid nitrogen. Yes! The only place around here you could find something like that would be out at the old factory. They got chemicals. I don't know what exactly. Yeah, my old man used to work out there. God, he knew that place like the back of his hand. Sorry, Floyd, no offense. None taken. What the hell are we waiting for? I mean, we've got this thing's kryptonite. Let's go. Yes! Time to pay homage to your ancestors. That's what I'm talking about! Not happening. If my dad says it'll work, it'll work. Containment is no longer an option. Well, it is the best option we have after witnessing the hand goblin. Cold. It's its Achilles heel. Now that we know the entity is alien, it initiates a different protocol. Lady, you are scaring me. We can't risk the entity getting out. So we contain it! Go! Listen to me. I am begging you. Whatever's inside that mammoth, it needs to be researched. It, it has unspeakable scientific value. We won't allow that. OK, let's just cut the weak route. OK, there is no we in this situation. It's not for us to decide. Does she mean us or we? I think them. Could I be frank with you? You are frank. Excuse me? Oh. I told you I wasn't kidding about the phone book. Dad, where are you going? I need a drink. Dr. Abernathy. I don't hear Frank. you. Oh, God, will someone please tell Frank? her to shut up? Frank? Hey, Luce. Milkshakes all around? None for her, right there.
Time waits for no man, Frank. Well, it can wait for me. You're putting everyone at risk. <sighs> I'm putting them at risk. Oh. Let's get something straight, sister. And I want everyone here to be very clear on the dynamics of our exact situation. Scenario one, I help you. Kill the man. We succeed and the government doesn't blow us up. Correct. Scenario two, I help you. We fail. And in, uh, well, what is it? It's uh, a little less than uh, five hours and 52 minutes. Everyone in this good town is dead. I don't like scenario two. Me neither. There's more. Scenario three. We go get my dad. And we celebrate my daughter's birthday. And we spend the last six hours of our existence doing something that matters. Amen to that. Thank you. That wouldn't be a good decision. At least it'd be my decision. Look, if I agree to, to do this, to kill the mammoth, I want my family evacuated out of here immediately. Thank you, Liz. I can't offer you that. Mm. Well, then you can go to H-E double hockey sticks. OK, last chance or I approach this on my own, a scenario that definitely lowers the odds. How much? Like, I'm talking 10, 15 percent. Frank. I need to speak with my daughter. Sweetie. There's some stuff that I've been wanting. It's, no, this is stuff that I need to say to you. I guess this is why you were late today. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I acted the way I no, did. No, hey, forget it. I mean, you had every right. I haven't been there for you. I. I've been hiding. I know words don't seem to mean too much right now, but I just, I need you to know that I'm proud of you. And I know if your mom were still here, she'd be proud of you too. Ever since your mom died, I've been overprotective of you. Let me tell you something, after today, the one thing I know is you're tough. Just like she was. Maybe even tougher. Which is why, um, I wanted you to have this uh, on your birthday. to her when we first met. I think it's time you wear it. Now, it's your birthday. Tell me what you want me to do. Ride the Tempest. Tame the waves, kill the sharks. What? It's a quote, Dad. The Vietnamese Joan of Arc. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, of course it is. But I, but I sent you to that private school. OK, uh, everybody, you don't want to help, I suggest you hold up here. They say you haven't really lived unless you've looked death in the face. I guess I'm gonna live forever then. All right, let's get you out of there. Dad? Dad, what are you doing here? Whoa! 
The monkey's a guy. Um, right. We have an alien possessed mammoth on the loose, and if we don't stop it, the government's gonna kill all of us. All right, you're serious? I'm serious. Uh, I don't know quite what to do. What would Patrick McNee do here? He'd let him appeal drive. There you go. This Emma Peel Patrick McNee thing, I just, I don't get it. Obviously, you never watched The Avengers. Where'd they go? Don't worry, I know where we're going. Tell me about this mammoth. See for yourself. Hang on! What? We're on empty. What? Frank, I think we've got a problem. Where's Jack? Wait, wait, something's wrong. We gotta go back. What? We gotta go back! Okay. <laughs> you two just stay here, all right? this, keep an eye out. <sighs> scared, squirrel. I'm really scared. Even Emma has a bad day every now and then. Excuse me. <laughs> well, it's about time. Well, we've got a mammoth on the loose. We've got to save the world. You still. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. What the hell do you think you're doing? Put that gas back. Uh, lady, uh, I put more than enough money in there to repair that window and to fill up two cars this size with gasoline. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. I think I loved him. I never told him. He knew, baby, he knew. 
we're not giving up. Okay? That's what Squirrely would have wanted. sure this is gonna work, but how would you feel about picking up some nitrogen over at the old uh, fertilizer plant? Meet us at the factory. Are you crazy? Maybe. What do you think? You with me? You know what to do, stay out of sight, head down, okay? Yeah. Simon's on his way. Well, he better be. If this thing won't go down in a blaze of glory, we're gonna need a whole lot of juice to send it back to the Ice Age. Gentlemen. Ma'am. The great state of Louisiana needs your help. the mammoth, but they'll definitely give him a push in the right direction. Demoted from sheriff to rodeo clown in a few short hours. I wouldn't worry about word getting out. You always this cheerful. It's one of my good days. Is for Sunday, Frank. Today we pray to Nike. Run!
Would you mind? Uh, you got the gun and everything. Ugh. Yeah, good job. No, hey, watch your step. Yeah. Oh, hey. There they are. Right there, those valves. Right there. They, uh, they control the steam and airflow, you know, for adding catalyzers to the steel to quantify tensile strength. Dad. Basic English. Oh, right, yeah. Um, well, essentially, um, whatever goes in the system will come out of the chamber unless we choose to seal it off. Mm, nitrogen. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's all we have. Simon comes back. Oh, he'll come back. He'll come back. Yes. Very negative. All right, well, all we have left to do is invite him in. Better do it fast. Where's your daughter? better show. Glad you came up with plan B. Okay, miss. Yeah. I want you to take this. Okay. And connect it right there. That's it. When I call for the mammoth juice, all right, I'll signal.
So, he's completely fine? He's alive and in perfect hibernation. All vital signs are good. Empire Strikes Back always was one of his favorite movies. So when will we uh, be able to get him out of there? Well, the technology's not that far off. Um, I'd say about the time Jack's his age. Okay. Well, you know, I uh, I have some friends that are working in the cryogenics field. You know, I I'll make some calls. I'll give you guys some time. Thank you. Don't worry, Jack. He'll be back. As long as he stays frozen, the entity can never escape. Then we'll have to make sure of that, won't we? What about the Abernathys? Give them the elephant. here in Blackwater, Louisiana by Armin Kevorkian. There's a polar bear from back then. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have the Plasticine Museum's pride and joy. Is this the same mammoth that came to life? Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in the Weekly World Spectacular. But yes, it's the same mammoth. Although they lived in the Ice Age, the mammoths are the relatives to our modern day elephants. This mammoth was an adolescent when it died. You can tell because its fur isn't quite that long yet. Do you all have any questions about the mammoth? 